With less than 30,000 residents, Wasco is one of Kern County's smaller communities, but as 23 ABC Sports Director Stephen Hicks is here to tell us, it might be home to Kern County's next Olympian. Stephen? Yeah, Tim. Brian Solorio has been doing Taekwondo for the past 10 years, but he said at first it was just something his family got him into, but recently he's found a new devotion that's helping him get recognized on the international level. In the small town of Wasco, family is everything. One look inside Wasco Tigers Taekwondo will show you that. Once you're in here, it's you know not long, no longer my mom. She's my instructor and my coach. Same thing with my brother and my dad. Brian Solorio looks like any other fighter, except that his mom and brother are the coaches and dad the owner. I do see my family as a team. He puts in, I put my part in. So together, you know. It's one big effort. Working in the fields, his dad Rico knows all about effort. He came from Mexico chasing the American dream and opened this gym with the hope that he could leave a positive imprint on the community. So he's no kicking and fighting. In the future, he'll be a good citizen. Along the way, he created something special. Mexico chooses one individual from the United States from every weight division. Because of his dual citizenship, at 19 years of age, Brian was selected to fight at Mexican nationals. A happy nervous, you know? I don't know how to react. He shocked the Taekwondo community by bringing home the goal and is still the talk of Mexico. That's big because Taekwondo in Mexico is very, very big. Everybody getting the surprise that somebody coming from USA and be the number one in Mexico. Since winning, Brian's ramped up his training after getting an invite to trials for the Mexican national team. But he says if given the option, he'd rather represent the United States. The Olympics 2020. That's yeah. The dream. That's my dream, and I plan on accomplishing that. But even if he falls short of his Olympic dreams, he feels an accomplishment with what his family is doing. Plans on doing his part to inspire others in the community. We can't just focus on one, we focus on all. This sport allows you to go out and see the world. And the international tournaments, you know, it's a great thing. You know, not as well as competitive, but it's also, you know, it allows people to visualize what's out there. And as Taekwondo is slowly becoming an NCAA sport, like father, like son, Brian wants to leave a legacy of his own. He's a student right now at CSUB and says it's his goal to get a program up and running here in Bakersfield. In the studio, Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC Sports.